Whoa, the FAA is moving unexpectedly faster than before. Although the wait continues, this is remarkable in terms of progress for the FAA compared to what the agency has put the first Starship orbital attempt through. If I recall correctly, last time SpaceX was basically done preparations around June of 2022, but it was only back in April of this year that it finally pulled off the first IFT. We had to wait nearly a year for that test flight. This will surely speed up in getting humanity closer to becoming a multi-planetary species. In a statement on September 8th, the Federal Aviation Administration announced it has closed its mishap investigation into the April SpaceX Starship test flight that ended after the rocket exploded over the Gulf of Mexico. SpaceX must implement all corrective actions that impact public safety and apply for and receive a license modification from the FAA that addresses all safety, environmental, and other applicable regulatory requirements prior to the next Starship launch, the FAA said in that statement. The announcement came days after SpaceX completed stacking its Starship vehicle, S-25, on top of Super Heavy Booster 9. Company founder Elon Musk said it was ready for integrated test flight 2 and was awaiting FAA license approval. The FAA said the mishap investigation report itself won't be released publicly due to the disclosure of proprietary information within it, but spoke generally to some of the needed changes. Corrective actions include redesigns of vehicle hardware to prevent leaks and fires, redesign of the launch pad to increase its robustness, incorporation of additional reviews in the design process, additional analysis and testing of safety critical systems and components including the autonomous flight safety system, and the application of additional change control practices, the HEC said within the same statement. The FAA oversaw the SpaceX-led investigation to ensure the company complied with its FAA-approved mishap plan and other regulatory requirements. The FAA was involved in every step of the mishap investigation and granted NASA and the National Transportation Safety Board official observer status. In a letter from Marcus Ward, the manager of the FAA's Safety Assurance Division to SpaceX, dated September 7th and delivered September 8th, the FAA noted that the launch license issued for the first test flight only allowed for one launch and stated that SpaceX is required to apply for a modification to allow for subsequent launches. This this means that SpaceX must convince the FAA it has checked off a list of corrective actions to prevent the same failures from occurring on the next Starship test flight. SpaceX said in a statement on Friday that lessons learned from the April 20th launch are directly contributing to several upgrades, being made to both the vehicle and ground infrastructure to improve the probability of success on future Starship flights. When SpaceX applies for this modification, it'll need to demonstrate compliance by evidencing the implementation of corrective actions adopted in response to its April 20th of 2023 mishap, Ward wrote in the letter. If the FAA approves the modification, SpaceX will be required to conduct licensed activities in accordance with the representations made in its application. Failure to do so is grounds for enforcement. Ward concludes his letter by noting that the FAA may not be the only hurdle SpaceX needs to clear before gearing up for the IFT-2. The FAA's closure of the mishap investigation does not predetermine the results of any ongoing or future environmental reviews associated with Starship operations at Boca Chica. The FAA is currently facing a lawsuit from multiple groups led by the Center for Biological Diversity. The organization's lead attorney in that case, Jared Margolis, shared that they haven't seen the full list of 63 changes as of yet, but will be looking for more information on the actions of both SpaceX and the FAA. The FAA also needs to comply with environmental laws by conducting supplemental reviews under the National Environmental Policy Act and the Endangered Species. Species Act, Margulis said. It is not yet clear where the FAA is in that process, or if they will provide an opportunity for public comment on the changes being made to the Starship program and the potential for harm from further explosions. Notably, SpaceX released a blog post shortly after the FAA's announcement was made public, obliquely addressing the issue. In this statement, SpaceX said the first Starship flight offered numerous lessons that are guiding the updates being made ahead of the next launch. SpaceX has built built and tested a hot-stage separation system in which Starship's second-stage engines will ignite to push the ship away from the booster. Additionally, SpaceX has engineered a new electronic thrust vector control system for Super Heavy Raptor engines, SpaceX stated. Using fully electric motors, the new system has fewer potential points of failure and is significantly more energy efficient than traditional hydraulic systems. One of the big issues that came up during the IFT-1 was the delayed destruction of Starship as it failed to reach stage separation. 
While making its ascent, there were fires from leaking propellant in the aft end of the Super Heavy booster, which eventually severed connection from the vehicle's primary flight computer. This led to a loss of communications to the majority of booster engines and ultimately control of the vehicle. SpaceX has since implemented leak mitigations and improved testing on both engine and booster hardware. As an additional corrective action, SpaceX has significantly expanded Super Heavy's pre-existing fire suppression system in order to mitigate against to mitigate future engine bay fires, SpaceX said. The Autonomous Flight Safety System, or AFSS, issued a destruct command, but there was an unexpected delay following the AFSS activation, which prolonged the destruction until 237.474 seconds following engine ignition. SpaceX said it enhanced and requalified the AFSS to improve system reliability. SpaceX also pointed to other infrastructure updates like its flame deflector and reinforcements to its pad foundation. SpaceX founder Elon Musk reposted the Starship update to his own account on X.com, formerly known as Twitter, stating that there have been thousands of upgrades to Starship and Launchpad slash Mechazilla, the name of the tower supporting Starship launches. In comments earlier this year, Musk outlined several other upgrades to debut on the next Starship test flight. Those include electric thrust vector controls to replace the hydraulic steering system used on the April 20th launch, reducing the potential points of failure in that area, according to SpaceX. Musk said engineers were adding stronger shielding around each of the booster's 33 Raptor engines to protect them from explosions of nearby engines, a measure intended to reduce the chance of cascading failures. SpaceX concluded its statement with an affirmation of its test and development philosophy. Testing development flight hardware in a flight environment is what enables our team to quickly learn and execute design changes and hardware upgrades to improve the probability of success in the future. Recursive improvement is essential as we work to build a fully reusable launch system, capable of carrying satellites, payloads, crew, and cargo to a variety of orbits, and Earth, lunar, or Martian landing sites. The next Starship test flight will also debut a hot staging separation system, in which the Starship's second stage engines will ignite to push the ship away from the Super Heavy booster. Had the rocket stayed on track through stage separation on the April 20th test flight, the separation system would have released the Super Heavy heavy booster from the Starship vehicle before ignition of the second stage engines. The rocket assigned to the upcoming test flight will have a structural ring on the top of the booster to vent the upper stage engine exhaust during the ignition sequence. The timing of Starship's return to test flights is significant for a separate federal agency, NASA, which is counting on Starship to return American astronauts to the surface of the moon for the first time in more than half a century. The mission, Artemis 3, is scheduled to lift off as soon as December of 2024. But Jim Free, Associate Administrator of NASA's Exploration Systems Development Mission Directorate, said in June that he's worried the date will slide due to Starship's delays. With the difficulties that SpaceX has had, I think that's really concerning, Free said while speaking to a joint meeting of the Aeronautics and Space Engineering Board and Space Studies Board of the National Academies of Sciences, Engineering, and Medicine. You can think about that launch date slipping probably into 26. By that, he means 2026. And that's all folks if you want to support our channel and get access to exclusive content please consider becoming a patron by clicking the link in the description below we appreciate your generosity and your passion for space exploration as always this is kevin from great spacex and until next time keep looking up